Hello friends, welcome back. In this session, we are going to quickly understand what exactly is the purpose and use of Android manifest.xml file. We are going to see the fundamental information, yet it is very important. I hope you recollect what I said in the first session. I said that this is a configuration file for the Android application and it has the information about activities and permissions, etc. It was a very brief note and definitely not sufficient. So this session will clarify you what all the much more required information on this Android manifest.xml file and I am going to give you that. Is it a mandatory file? Yes, it is mandatory. Every app must have this. Every app must definitely have this file. And the name also cannot be changed or the uppercase, lowercase cannot be changed even. Android manifest.xml should remain as it is. It is available in the root directory. It has got plenty of use and it gives you a lot of information as well. And to make it very concise and short, this is responsible for protecting the application with enforcing access restrictions to the protected region in the code. What I mean is, our app will have multiple regions and some part of the code may not be accessible, should not be accessible by some other part of the code or you may want to enforce access restrictions there. So all those are doable through this. And what more? This describes the components of the application very clearly, which include activities, services, broadcast receivers and content providers and most importantly it also names the classes that implement each of the components and publishes their capabilities and finally last but not the least the declarations let the android system know what the components are and on what conditions or on what situation they should be launched they define what it is and they also help you in understanding when it should be launched well this is the structure you have the structure clearly available here and this android manifest.xml is available under res you can see that and i will explain you one by one these components as well the structure is very clear and easy to understand if you know a little bit of xml this flow will be easy for you well the root element is manifest and this is the first root element and you can see the package details there it provides you the complete information about the package name and activity class details well what is the next thing? The next thing is application. What is it? It's very simple. This is under the manifest. This is a subsection of the manifest and it has many subsections and sub elements under it. Like you can clearly see the label, the icon, the round icon, theme, all these contents come under this. So manifest is the first one that gives you the details of the package. The application is the second one which gives you the details like the icon, what kind of icon should be used, what is the label, uh, what is the theme, all those will be under this. And what is the next one? It is the activity. This block particularly represents an activity that must be defined in the android manifest.xml file. For example, if you see this here, you can have the main activity. So this is very, very important. So this block represents the activity. So understand that. Well, what to, what are the other things that we need to know? There is something called as intent filter. What is it? This is a tag which contains, this, this, is, this is all about this under the activity. Again, this is a subsection which you can see through. This is the place where you get the information about which thing, which, which, which activity should be started first. So whatever you have inside this intent filter, that will be the launch activity. That will be the launcher. There is well things will go first. This is the starting activity. So to tell you in a very simple way, this is the tag which denotes the starting activity. And what next? Action. It adds an action for the intent filter. That's all. The intent filter must have at least one action element. That's the action. That's all. So we have gone through the complete structure. I told you what is manifest, what is application, what is activity and what is intent filter. The intent filter is very important because whatever you have inside this is going to be launched first and then followed by that action and it is all closed step by step. It, the structure of XML is important here for somebody to understand all these alignments and indentation. So please go through it once if you have time. But otherwise, this is classified very clearly. Right. Thank you very much for uh, following my channel and the content. If you have any questions, please go ahead and type it in the comment section. I'll happily answer. Thank you.